hey how y'all doing welcome back to my channel if you've been been here before welcome if you have not my name is jamira nice to see you nice to be in your energy today we are going to be doing under the signs reading okay so let's see who we have left and that's what it will be for okay Taurus. Alright, let's get it, Taurus. This is going to be your February 2023, okay? Oh, I, um, I heard... Dang, what was the message? <laughs> dang, I had a whole message, Taurus. I said, whoever, whoever, whatever sign I do is going to be for that sign. I knew I should have wrote it down. Oh, man. Hopefully by the end of this, I'll remember. Spirit, spirit, guys, angels, ancestors, thank you for allowing. I, well, before we, thank you for allowing me con to connect with the collective each and every day. Thank you for allowing, allowing us the opportunity <laughs> to roam and travel this earthly plane with love, grace, favor, and wisdom. And for that, we love and we thank you. Ashe, ashe, ashe. Oh, I was trying to start, but it was one, one, one. But I'm the, I got the hierophant. I got the High Priestess just now with this Five of Swords, and now I'm seeing the Ace of Swords with this Five of Swords, and it's giving me that you knew about something. Um, you were getting, like, subliminal messages or, like, spiritual messages. I feel like, yeah, I think they're subliminal, too. I feel like you pick up on somebody's subliminal energy. Very heavy. There you go, Queen of Pentacles. I feel like you pick up on somebody's energy really heavy. Let's see what's going on for Taurus. Take this for um, any of the signs, um, any of your placements. Speak to me. Connecting via connecting via vibes. That's gonna be y'all. I'm just being, I'm picking up, um, indirect energy already, Taurus, okay? Spirit, what's happening the month of Taurus? What's happening for Taurus the month of February? Okay, I feel like you are at work. Oh, you are at work. So, heavy energy, heavy earth energy already here. I feel like you are picking up on something. You're picking up on a trade, a skill, Oh my gosh. Y'all know y'all like aesthetics, okay? <laughs> Stop playing with me. Um, it definitely could be something with art or something like luxury. Something with clothes as well. Fashion. The You could be a part of the beauty industry. The beauty industry. But I feel like you are looking very attractive. You are looking very abundant. You are looking very... Uh, um, like you attract money. That's the eight of coins with the nine of coins. Yeah, she wanted to. She wanted to be in there today. Okay. Dang. Okay, so this was definitely for Earth. I wish I could remember the the the, the title of this reading. Spirit, if it's for a Taurus, let me pick it back up. But you're building something solid. I feel like you're being very persistent. I'm hearing something about your adolescence. You've been working on this since you were a child, or this is something you wanted to do as a child. I feel like you're you're like, listen, I'm not a child no more. I got shit I need to do, shit I want to get done. And one by one, step by step, you're going to be building like the groundwork for whatever this is to get you. It's slowly but surely, but I feel like 
the slower things are the things that we don't take for granted. We appreciate it more. You're appreciating your your you're appreciating you, who you are, and how 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 much you've worked at yourself, which you've built for yourself internally and externally. Some of y'all are working on a home or some construction, or what you do has to do with your hands. Y'all could be hanging up pictures, and y'all could be working out, and y'all are seeing the results. Y'all could be eating healthier. Y'all could be out in nature. Some of y'all could be gardening. Y'all are um, attracting a lot of spirit animals. A lot of animals are in your energy. Yeah, we got rabbits, a snail, a bird, some of strawberries. <laughs> um, yeah, you're listening to your guides. You're listening to those um, intuitive nudges about how to gain more prosperity. Let's see what else. So if this is about work or if this is about um, business, I feel like it's going to be very good. It's looking very good in um, February. I feel like you are blocking out. I feel like you're only in this energy because you've blocked out certain people, places, situations. Some about like, I'm hearing you have an image to maintain, but you have a empire to build. Okay, so if it's not supporting your empire, then it's just not going to work. Okay, yeah, you're going to have to walk away with with positive energy. You're going to have to walk away with things with grace, love, mutual respects here. You could be relocating. Some of y'all could live overseas. I feel like you're just packing your stuff and you're, you're leaving. Your, your back is turned towards something. It could be this same thing. It could be like. That's funny because that's actually the same guy if you think about it. Six of swords, but this is seven of wands. Just think about this is this same person if it was this way. Something about the reflection. So you, you could be reflecting on things as you move forward. Wow. Six of wands. Six of wands. Six of swords, six of wands. Mm. I feel like you are being led in a positive direction. In each, well, moving forward with that seven of wands, six of swords, and the six of wands, there's something in your hand. So something that you're doing physically that you, that you work into, that you work into, you put work into it, effort, like money, your time, your energy. Let's see. The fool. So this uh, energy that you're mastering this craft, you're getting it down pat. I feel like any kick, kicks, kinks. I feel like people are getting kicked out. Things are just getting kicked out. I feel like people are getting kicked out and they don't even know it. Like people are getting kicked out of your life and they don't even know it. But I feel like they really don't. Yeah, the moon. <laughs> the moon or shit you're leaving and they, they don't know it you're moving you're moving you're doing something and i feel like you're keeping shit quiet mm. the fool card this is taking a leap of faith i feel like you took you 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 sacrificed a lot for this what you're building mm -hmm. it's it's like you're embracing the little things because, look, in both the Fool and the Nine of Coins, that's a flower and that's a bird. I feel like um, this is you bringing in energy, right? And then this is you, um, this is grounding energy. So, like, when you're meditating or even doing yoga, you're implanting your energy back into the earth. And then when you do like this, you're letting go of energy, 
so or needing some information to come in however it resonates but i feel like with the rose in his hand this is symbolizing you're affirming good things to come into your life because of what you've been putting in one 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 you have new beginnings in here you're trusting your intuition that whatever you do you're going to get the result because you've put that much work into it. The moon card. Some things are hidden here or sec secret. Um, whether these are emotions, let's see. We're just going to keep going. But I feel like there is a full, there is a new move that you're about to take. There's a new beginning here that uh, that's... I feel like it's more intuitive. I don't feel like there's no... There's no there's not any secrets. There's not any secrets. I feel like it's just into something intuitively, you know. The moon. <laughs> so we're gonna take that. So I feel like intuitively you know that you're gonna get your justice. Intuitively you know balance is coming to be restored in your life because you could either be single and you're getting receiving the justice. Damn. That's powerful as energy. Justice, the world, and the king of wands. You've put in the work. You've battled. Oh, you battled a lot of things. I feel like a lot of things are coming into balance. The world, I feel like it's you're on top. I'm on top of the world. Dun, dun. I'm going to touch the star. Pop up in the spot. Look at extra fly. Till the day I die. I'm going to touch the sky. Dun, 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 dun. The Nine of Swords. What do you... You better be ready for this. You better be ready for this. Oh, you better be ready. Yeah. Yeah, Spirit is letting you know you need to be ready for this. You need to be ready. Don't lie to yourself now. Don't lie to yourself and tell yourself you're not ready. You da da da. Yes, you can. And you will. And it's coming. And you. It's coming. What? You, you've worked for this. 12 12. You put in the work. You not only manifested, but you're actually doing what you said you were going to do. You stood by what you were going to do. You, you, what? This skill, you implemented, you stood by this. You said you were going to do it, but you did it. And I think that's the shocker because you did it. And you're receiving a congratulations if you did it without, with or without anyone else past after that i just stopped there because i don't you've moved on from a lot of things and i feel like you're gaining the justice from doing so by listening to spirit by listening to god and by affirming yourself of you moving forward the universe is rewarding you and you're reaping the benefits yeah, this is this is full grown. This is full grown structures, full grown confidence. This is ambition. What is that? A lizard? It looks like a lizard. So you've adjusted, you've adapted, you adjust to you adjust to different environments and I see my 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 God out there confirming. Yeah, you've built some you've built something concrete. What? I definitely feel like you've you've closed out a cycle and it's looking beautiful on you. Like this is you finally the marathon continues, but you've won this marathon. You've won this race. What what song am I picking up on? I might have to put it down in the comments below. If I remember. If I remember the song. Mm -mm, around my race. I want it. Okay, I'm gonna try to see if I remember the song. But that's what I'm really getting here. You pay, you had you got both batons in your hands. You're not passing up on these blessings. That's what I'm hearing. Cause that you have both batons in your hands. This is not being passed off. Your blessings are not being passed off. Or shit, you have the baton now. Yeah, you have the baton now. They did. They want. <laughs> Wow, okay. Let's see what else. So the month of February, Taurus is looking really nice so far. From what I just see here, it's you're you're in your energy. 
Now, when it comes to certain things, I just there, think there's a lot of um, f need to focus on your intuition. Seven of Swords in the reverse. Yeah, this is about really not fighting oneself, not fighting, because you could be getting information. Where is it coming from? It could be spiritual information. Because you're, you you're, you're intuitive as fuck right now with this moon right here. You could be a psychic, and I feel like the moon, that's emotion. Like, you're feeling some type of energy. You're feeling this energy in your presence. But as a whole... <clears throat> Three of Swords, the Hermit. You're about to let go of some hurt. You're about to release this hurt. I hear love goes to the highest bidder. I don't know what that means. Love wins. I'm getting love wins as well. Love is going to the highest. Pain is going to the highest bidder. Whatever I said first. <clears throat> but you ain't you not buying it love is the wow damn hold on y'all pain goes to the highest bidder and i'm not buying it okay i like that so I feel like you are healing, you are um, coming out of the shadows, you are coming out of this um, period of either solitude, being by yourself, I guess like homebody energy, especially here with the cancer card, because you have been, some, your spotty tenses have been tingling, like you've been having the urge to look up things. Be by yourself, be in this solitude energy to get receive some information about yourself. Self-awareness, okay, okay, thank you. So because your your psychic abilities are heightened, you're you need you you had to go into hermit mode to heal, to recharge, to see how you operate to see how you function to see how you move anytime that we've been hurt or triggered or there's a need to be by ourselves to just what is the word that i'm thinking about analyze situations judgment yeah analyze situations that we might have not um ignored before or just didn't pay attention to could have been like some neglectful energy or just at the time you didn't know you wasn't there was something that wasn't aware of I mean, that's what i'm picking up something that you weren't aware of something that wasn't taking notice notice of notice of yeah you couldn't fight this energy anymore so this was about graduated i was overdue yeah i feel like you've outgrown a lot of situations taurus i feel like you've outgrown a lot of situations and that's why you kind of just you either fell with these people you kind of just kept to yourself um it was a lot of friction a lot of resistance a lot of challenge for i feel no reason it's like why are we doing this why are we why if we're not if we if we can't see eye to eye on something if we can't agree to disagree what are we doing here and I, mask off i feel like a lot of people's <clears throat> you're going to be seeing a lot of people's true colors the masks are coming off yeah with the moon and the, <clears throat> the moon and seven of swords yeah i feel like somebody you can see straight. Oh, uh, thank you. You can see straight through somebody, their their intentions, their motives, what they truly want that they they try to hide, but they can't. They can't hide from you at this time. So, people. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. 
you're you're moving on to some brand new stuff. You're moving on to something new that maybe you've already been working at. I don't know, because I feel like people's true intentions are just. We gonna see. We gonna keep justice. Yeah, you're moving on to what you know you're going to benefit from. That you're gonna find the most balance, the most peace, the most fair fairness. That's what I'm getting. Masculine energy. I'm picking up fairness. Mm. So I saw a two, three, four in my throat. Like I felt something in my throat. I told y'all, fine china. This is Taurus energy, the aesthetic, the beauty. You're like fine china. You're delicate. You're not, you're precious. You're not meant to be tampered with, just willy. You're not supposed to be handled any certain type of way. Masculine or feminine energy, might I add, okay? You're unreplaceable. You're a vibe. You're a vibe. You're a whole vibe in this reading, Taurus. What else? I feel like you're definitely going to get the justice that you need. If this is something legally, I feel like you're you're free to go. That's all I'm getting. You're being released from something. Something somebody is dropping the charges and you can get back to doing what they're doing. But what I'm noticing in my readings that a lot of them are very symbolic and spiritual. So even if I say that, you could have just been stuck in a funk. You could have been stuck stuck in like a spiritual jail, like a mental prison of some sorts, and you're being freed from that. So even if I was to say that, it doesn't really have to be taken literally. But if you know if it resonates, it resonates. But I'm finding out that a lot of my messages are very spiritual. <laughs> I mean, as they should, but a lot of the things don't be as literal as I might make them seem. That that's just the heads up. Let's see. Anything? Could I about to say what happened? You're being congratulated. I want to. Okay, so at the end of this. Mm -hmm. This energy, you could have been patiently waiting for something. Temperance, divine timing for something new. Ah, that's crazy that we just said that too. I'm sorry, y'all. That, that shit is loud, okay? Four of Wands. So you could have been waiting for a, a, a relationship, a connection. Hold on, y'all. This shit is mad loud. I don't have a remote right now. My phone is a remote, so if this part, if this part of the reading, I understand if you got to do what you got to do. So, the back of here we have the four of wands. This is, you know, stability, relationship, a connection, a manifestation. Seven of wands with the seven of swords. Seven seven could be significant. With the seven of, what the hell? So, this is you being on the right track. What? Seven, seven. Seven, seven, seven. So, you could look up what seven, seven, seven means for you personally, but I feel like seven, seven, seven is about being on the right track. Some call it lucky because, you know, when you gamble and shit, when you get a seven, that card just dropped, I'm going to take it. Four of, <laughs> the four of wands. So a relationship is on the right track. You are on the right track to getting a relationship or a manifestation. Doesn't have to be a relationship. Stability. Let me say something stable. A stable. A stable move. A stable home. A stable family dynamic. Something you could be getting married. I, I also see like a storefront. Because, listen, the same, wow, 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 the same, this is the same house. 
This is the same house, and it started small, right? Boom. It, that shit grew. What the freak? That's beautiful. That's really beautiful because you waited, because you were patient. You didn't question God. You had faith. You said, okay, I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep putting into this. A nation, a divine nation. You're building a divine nation. Y'all got a lot of titles. Fuck what they talking about on your timeline. You're building. I'm not even going to be able to put all these. But I'll pick at the end. And you don't need any intruders when you're building this divine nation. So that's why Spirit had you walk away from certain people's situations and things because mm -mm, they didn't need to be they didn't need to come into this palace they didn't need they didn't need to come into this empire because they would just fuck your shit up they would fuck your whole shit up okay crumbs on the ground they didn't spill some shit they didn't really care they didn't you know what i'm saying you don't need that in the empire the fuck because it because they wasn't with you shooting in the gym because they didn't really they were even okay actually I, I take that back these people because i'm not gonna say every person but these people why you had to be separated from them is because they truly their energy ain't right some about their energy i don't know something about their energy just don't sit right because some people truly are happy for you you're going to be getting a support system who really appreciate the work that you put into your empire but then you have those other people it's because they're just trying to reap off the benefits you feel me but i feel like you knew that though you you spotted somebody's intentions and shit they just wanted to reap the benefits of what you had and you don't want that you don't need that because then you're just gonna tear my shit up you're gonna take my shit for granted you're gonna take my shit for granted because you wasn't you either you didn't put into this work or you didn't watch me physically you know watch this come up Understand me. Yeah. Exalt like you you don't yeah. God couldn't see you do this anymore. God couldn't see you stay stand in the rain like this. I feel like these people had you out out. See, these people left you out. That's the funny thing. The same people who you want to come see come with you were the same people who left you out. Page of Pentacles. You had nothing. You did this. You went from the Page of Pentacles in the reverse to the Knight of Pentacles. Page of Cups. Ace of Swords. Damn, you went off just this little bit of faith. Like this love. This love energy. This love. This. <sighs> I could work with this. You was curious about it. You was like, you know what? Let's see. Ace of Swords. God damn. God damn. I feel like you keep something under wraps. Temperance. Dang, that's cray cray. Anything else? Any last messages? Well, I guess I got to pull from the Wisdom of the Oracle, too. And the Spiritual AF deck. Walking away, positively walking away. Damn! See, the funny thing is, I'm seeing this as a great thing. Because even though it's the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse, bro, I feel like you're walking away from just controlling energies. This, ooh, I love this energy for you. Sounds crazy, I know, but it's because you now you can able to heal. Now your spirit team can work with you in the most beneficial way. Because, ooh, blessings is over flowing because you walked away bro like you can't you you finally realize that nigga you was the one holding me back i'm sorry but it was you you supposed to be my sister and you draining me you supposed to be my brother and you draining me physically or you know take that out resonates oh yes because first of all, you was even okay. So if I'm talking to a divine feminine, you was even with your divine feminine. You was with a false person who couldn't bring nothing to your empire. 
who just wanted to leech off of what you have. To a yeah. Yeah, they would have just made you child. Okay, you would have been handling everything on your own. And you're like, and it would have showed. It would have showed, but because you walked away, sir, you looking good. I told you that already, though. I told you you was looking very good, very attractive. Okay? Ma'am, I told you you was looking fine and sexy, okay? Oh, man, I love this energy. Taurus, I, I need to stop pulling. I need to stop pulling. Can we move on? So that's going to be your February, okay? Because we already at 30 minutes, and I got, like, four... Three more signs. Yes, we three signs away from. And then I'm gonna get. I'm not gonna do any. I'm gonna probably just do some collective readings throughout the month of February, and then I will see you guys in March as we start the, the new year. All right, Spirit. Any messages for Taurus, please? Ooh, round and round. We gonna take this because I feel like I've never read it for the other signs. I'm gonna read it for y'all. There's something that wants to treat you fairly. So you're going to receive fair compensation because there was a cycle that you was in that had to do with an unfinished, some unfinished business or an unfinished lesson here. And you just couldn't get a leg up. You couldn't get a break. You couldn't catch you no know, sleep. But you are blessed. Blessed. You were meant to meet this person even though it didn't work out. You know what I'm saying? Truth be told, that's, that's facts. Masculine energy. So you could be the masculine energy or you could be the feminine energy who had been with a masculine. But they wasn't, yeah, they wasn't it, babe. They wasn't it, babe. And you know what? That's okay. Thinker. I want to pull for that card round and round. That's a 25. So you could be 25. You could be 44. You could be 34, 22. Wow, what is this? This is 15. Y'all didn't get this card. 32, 23 could be significant to you. That was on my timer. This is message in the bottle, but all I saw was you're on the right track. <laughs> all right, 25. Um, essential meetings, the spiral quality of events when a lesson isn't quite integrated, challenges you are, cycles you are challenged to break, and revisiting a pattern from a new perspective. The Oracle's message, the appearance of this card is a reminder that although it may appear that you've gone backwards, the truth is that you are standing at a higher level looking down into your circumstances. You will learn something, do something better, and break a cycle set up in the past. You might, you actually have a bird's eyes, a bird's eye view of your initial footprints and can access the wisdom and lessons learned. I'm not going to read all of this, but y'all get them. Y'all get them. Y'all get the gist, don't y'all? I'm going to read the protection meshes though. Are you refusing to see your own personal responsibilities for repeating lessons you don't need to relearn? You have to surrender now to the fact that you are the common denominator in all these repeat performances. Be happy for this is a wonderful spot to be in. You can now see the cycles that you wish to exit. Once you figure out that you have the power to stop going round and round, you possess the key to your freedom. Be good to yourself. It's not about blame, but accountability. You can have the abundant life filled with love and prosperity that spirit so wants for you. So this is really, this wraps up this part because I feel like cycles, they weren't benefiting you, but overall still being, um, knowing that you're blessed, okay? To the C. Seven. To the C. What's that giving me? Coming back from something, co-creating. So, I feel like this was either ignoring your intuition about those nudges Spear was giving you. Yeah, okay, okay, cool. You have a deep knowing, but you could have just blatantly ignored it because of your own whatever, mending. 
Yeah, not for you. Yeah, and it was just you knew that it would. It, you knew that by either mending these situations or not walking away from them completely, spiritually and physically, <clears throat> and or you. It was just spirit was telling you no, but you was just like, mm, I think it is. You know what I'm saying? We do that. It happens. Chaos and conflict. So then you had to go in between happy, happy. When you listen to your intuition, you're going to come out happier. But to the sea, co-creating the reverse chop wood, you know now. You If you knew what you knew now, but it's like, it doesn't even matter. 35, 35. You, it's over with. And all you can do is learn. Because you win or you lose. No. You win or you learn. I feel like somebody just said that. <clears throat> and I feel it in my heart. When I, when I feel that, my tattoo is like God is put, pointing you in the right direction. You win or you learn. You never, you never lose. That might be y'all message. I don't know. It's so much. It's so much. You've never, you didn't lose anything. <clears throat> it's time to look at the, ooh, yes. Oh, my goodness. Let me take these real quick. Let me, I'm sorry, spirit. We have the Five of Cups, Ace of Cups, the Magician, and the Death card. It's time for you to, to put your energy at work. It's time to go hard in the paint for what you want. It's time to build something for yourself. It's time for you to, bruh, every, something about your hands, bruh. Point that shit to the sky. Put your hands in the air like you just don't care. Celebrate life. Celebrate the beauty and the small things, okay? change it's time for change it's no longer about you not sleeping at night and not being content it's about figuring out what the problem is and stop engaging with that shit you know what the problem is you know what the problem is you just need to to, to let it go holding on to resentments is like taking a shit in your own heart so you could be sitting in some low vibing ass emotion why what's that going to change about the situation not a damn thing yeah, it's that gross and pointless. Let that shit go. Look up a loving kindness meditation on the internet and do it. Focusing on love is taking is like taking a baby wipe to the heart. What's the point of sitting around in regret and sorrow and don't don't wallow in it. You can definitely feel your emotions, but don't wallow in it. Bear is trying to get you to go to where you're truly guided to go, okay? So that's the cards for this. So you want to be a badass? Show your heart to everyone. It takes a lot of courage to be authentic in this world. Showing your heart doesn't mean you're soft all the time or that you're a hot mess or a doormat. It means you're, sh you're showing up fully as yourself. You know what's weak as fuck? Living a fake ass life trying to please others. Oof. Okay. Damn, this is long. You see that? Somebody's writing a long, I told you somebody's writing a long letter. Oh, I don't think I told y'all. Y'all could be writing letters from your childhood, like to your inner child, to a, to like the six-year-old Jew, the 14-year-old Jew, the 19-year-old Jew. Your wound is probably not your fault, but your healing is your responsibility, okay? You'll never be free of the people who harmed you until you take full accountability, ooh, full responsibility for your own healing. No matter what family you were born into, what body you got stuck, stuck in, or what weird shit has happened to you along the way, this is your life and nobody else's. Be tender with the parts of you that are hurt and the parts of you that are struggling. Take ownership of your whole beautiful, dented, piece together self. If you blame someone for who you are, you give them ownership of you. That sucks wet shit, doesn't it? Focus on what you can do right now to be your own badass healer. Bam. And stop saying yes to shit you hate. We say yes to dumbass shit because we want to be cool to caretake others and because we think we need a reason to say no. The people we say no to may never understand why we needed to say no in order to be true to ourselves. You don't even have to know why you said yes in the past. Don't get stuck in the process spiral about it. If you're not into it, just stop saying yes and move the fuck on. All right, Taurus, this is going to be your reading. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in your next one. Peace.